therizinosaurs were a family of feathered theropod dinosaurs. Even though fossils of these animals have only been found throughout Asia and North America, the range of therizinosaurs is believed to have spanned much of the ancient supercontinent of Laurasia based on several footprints and isolated remains on Europe and Africa. They lived roughly 100 million to 66 million years ago, and one species of therizinosaurs, named Therizinosaurus, was one of the largest theropod dinosaurs in existence. It was also the first species of therizinosaurs to be discovered in 1948, and for decades they baffled even some of the greatest scientists. At first, Russian paleontologist Evgeny Alexandrovich Malayev concluded that the fossils of this dinosaur belonged to an ancient species of sea turtle. He wrote that its distinctive forelimbs were in fact powerful swimming organs, with claws designed for cutting up aquatic vegetation. It took over 25 years for Therizinosaurus to be classified as a theropod dinosaur. With broad hips and a pot belly, this animal was perhaps the strangest looking of all dinosaurs. An adult Therizinosaurus is thought to have weighed about 6 or 5 tons. That's as heavy as a large Tyrannosaurus rex. It lived in the same area as today's Mongolia, as did the notorious Velociraptor, but around 5 million years later. Therizinosaurus is easily recognizable by its long neck leading up to a relatively small big skull that sported unusual leaf-shaped teeth. Weirdly, they didn't have teeth on the front half of their top jaw. They also had extended fingers with extremely long and robust claws shaped like giant scythes. They possessed the longest claws of any animal throughout history. The claws on Therizinosaurus were capable of reaching well over 2 feet in length. In fact, the name Therizinosaurus literally translates in Greek into scythe lizard. Therizinosaurus was one of the last members of the Therizinosaur family to go extinct. While you may think that a dinosaur with such large and powerful claws would utilize them to slice open prehistoric dinosaurs of the Mesozoic era, as far as paleontologists can tell, it was actually a herbivore. This is because its bird-like beak and lack of teeth were unsuitable for a meat eater. The unusual arms and body anatomy seen on Therizinosaurus has been suggested by some as an example of convergent evolution with a group of herbivorous mammals known as Calicotheriums, suggesting similar feeding habits. The elongated hand claws on Therizinosaurus would have been more useful for pulling vegetation within reach rather than being used for an active attack or defense. However, they may have had some role in intimidation. Its arms were also particularly resistant to stress, which suggests constant use of these limbs. Therizinosaurus was a very tall animal, which likely would have reduced competition with other dinosaurs, as it could reach over the foliage that other dinosaurs couldn't reach. And its giant size could have helped scare away potential predators like Tarbosaurus, a close relative of the T-Rex. Its herbivorous diet is very unusual, as the vast majority of other theropod dinosaurs were carnivorous, such as Tyrannosaurus rex and Velociraptor. It is likely that the transition from a carnivorous diet to a herbivorous diet occurred early on in the evolution of the Therizinosaur family tree. The transition involved changes in the arrangement and the condition of the teeth, along with changes to the hips and hind limbs, which would have allowed for more room and better support for a larger gut needed to digest plants. The most primitive Therizinosaur discovered, Valacarus, has been described as a transitional species because it has herbivorous teeth and wider hip, however it also possesses a pubis bone and legs that resemble those of its running carnivorous ancestors. The feeding habits of Therizinosaurus are still debated, however it most probably used its long claws to push leaves into its mouth. It is thought that Therizinosaurus lived a similar lifestyle to modern gorillas and prehistoric ground sloths using its long arms and sharp claws to grab food and foliage from trees. However, there are several other possible functions that the claws on Therizinosaurus could have been used for, such as for defense against predators like the contemporary Tarbosaurus, and for interspecies fighting, such as for territory and mating. The claws may have even served all of these functions. Therizinosaurus spanned a large range of sizes, from the small giant Cheetosaurus measuring only 6.6 feet long, 
to the Therizinosaurus itself, which grew up to 33 feet long and weighed over 5 tons. Therizinosaurus had two layers of feathers, one shorter, almost downy layer, and a second quill-like layer. The feathers around the neck had the ability to puff out, probably as a display structure. Therizinosaurus lived around 70 million years ago, and their remains have been found in Mongolia in the Gobi Desert. Because these dinosaurs had strange features, it took scientists a long time to realize where they belonged in the dinosaur family tree. They belonged to the theropod dinosaur group called Minoraptors, which also includes birds. Though fossils of Therizinosaurus are incomplete, references can be made about their physical characteristics based on related Therizinosaurs. Like other members of their family, Therizinosaurus probably had small skulls atop a long neck with bipedal movement and broad bodies as evident by the wide pelvis of other Therizinosaurs. Their forelimbs may have reached lengths of up to 11 feet, as seen in the largest known specimens. Their hindlimbs ended in four weight-bearing toes, unlike other theropod dinosaur groups, in which the first toe was reduced to a dewclaw. In 2010, Gregory Paul estimated the maximum size of Therizinosaurus at 33 feet in length and 6 tons in weight. They are the largest Therizinosaurs known, as well as the largest known Minoraptors. Like other Therizinosaurs, it would have been a slow-moving long-necked high browser equipped with a horny beak and wide torso for food processing. Its forelimbs were very strong and had three fingers with claws, which unlike other relatives, were stiffened. Therizinosaurus had the longest claws of any land animal, reaching over 50 centimeters in length. The environments that Therizinosaurus inhabited have been determined by the sedimentation across the places where its fossils have been discovered. Millions of years ago, their habitat consisted of large rivers with extensive woodlands composed of large enclosed canopy-like forests that supported diverse dinosaurs like Therizinosaurus. The climate of Therizinosaurus's habitat was relatively temperate, with an average annual temperature between 7.6 and 8.7 degrees Celsius, characterized by monsoons with cold dry winters and hot rainy summers. In addition, the average annual precipitations was between 775 mm and 835 mm a year, that was subject to prominent seasonal fluctuations, as made evident by the sedimentation. The wet environments of the places where the fossils have been discovered may have acted like an oasis-like area that attracted other dinosaurs such as Oviraptorosaurs from arid neighbor localities. It has been previously suggested that Therizinosaurus's habitat may have been similar to today's Olvacano Delta. In 1993, Dale Russell and Ronald Russell analyzed Therizinosaurus and Chalicotherium, a group of herbivorous ungulate mammals, and noted similarities in their body plan, even though they are not even remotely related. Both species had large, well-developed strong arms, and both pelvic bones were robust and suited for a sitting behavior, and the hind limb, particularly the foot structure, was robust and shortened. They consider these adaptations as an example of convergent evolution, a condition where organisms evolve similar traits without necessarily being related, in this case, between an extinct dinosaur and mammal. Moreover, the body plan is somewhat exhibited by modern day gorillas. Because the animals with this type of body plan are known to be herbivores, the authors suggested that this was the case with Therizinosaurus. The researchers suggested that Therizinosaurus could have consumed plant material in both a bipedal stance and when in a bird-like position. When walking, Therizinosaurus probably folded its arms against the body, a bit like a bird to stop the weight of its claws from unbalancing it. As its arms were long enough to have touched the ground during certain stances, they could have used their arms to help the dinosaur rise to a bipedal stance. When browsing in a bipedal stance, Therizinosaurus may have been able to reach even higher vegetation, with its rate supported by its short and robust feet. Well that's it for this video, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.